Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to configure automatic system restore points. Keep watching to find out how. Hi, welcome back. On this video today, we're going to be talking about Windows system restore points, which is probably one of the most boring things you'd ever want to talk about, but it could actually save your bacon if your system goes wrong and you need to recover it from a backup. So recently we've been talking about things like malware, system hacks, password resets, all those kinds of things. Now, all those things are well and good and can get you out of trouble, but if you've got your system running just as you like it, and for some reason there's a Windows update which completely destroys it, or there's a piece of software which causes problems, you really, really need to be able to do a system rollback to get yourself back up and running as quickly as possible. Now, did you know that System Restore, although it is running generally as a task in the background all the time, doesn't actually do as many backups as you think it might? Now, in this video today, we're going to go through setting up a schedule, and this schedule is going to be specifically tailored to my preferences. Obviously, you can tailor it slightly to do however you want it to do. Now, if your system is a mission-critical system, I would suggest making sure that System Restore does a backup on a daily basis. Now, for me personally, this machine doesn't get a great deal of use, so I'm gonna set it to do a weekly system restore point. It will also do system restore points if there are any driver updates or any program changes, but if for any reason I don't do anything much with the system and it's just turned on, turned off, then this will make sure that a snapshot is taken, so should things go wrong, I've got something to roll back to. So let's get straight into it and I'll show you how it's done. Now the first thing to do is to actually make sure that System Restore is actually running as a service on your system. So if you type in System Restore and choose Create a Restore Point. Now from here we can quite quickly see that the system disk protection is on and working. So that's great. Now the thing is, like I said, although it's on, it isn't actually doing any regular System Restore Points. It does it on its own kind of, its intuition if you will. which for most people probably isn't gonna be great. So let's go into the system task scheduler. Again, type task scheduler into the window search bar and the program will come up. My task scheduler is where basically Windows creates all the schedules for things like Windows startup events, backup procedures, all those kinds of things. So anything that needs to be scheduled, you should find in here. So what we want to do first of all is we want to find the system restore scheduler. So if we go into Microsoft and then into Windows and scroll down until we find system restore. And there we go. So at the moment we've got it set up so that it's running at roughly 7.30 every Monday of every week starting today. Now that is because I've already set one of these up and I thought it'd be a good idea actually to make a video on it to show you a why I've done it and how it works. So if we go into the trigger, if you double click on it, if you've already got one there, just double click on it and you can edit it. So if we go into the trigger and highlight it and then click edit, and I'll go through now and I'll, I'll explain briefly what it is I'm trying to achieve here. Now, for most of us who have Windows, you may or may not be aware that Microsoft generally likes to do updates on the second Tuesday of every month. They call it Update Tuesday. Now for me, these are the most likely times where Windows is gonna go wrong, either that day or the day after. So my plan is to have a regular backup on a Monday so that should things go wrong on a Tuesday, I can quickly roll back without losing too many of my settings, changes, or other things that have happened. If you take into, for instance, if you're using your PC on a daily basis, if you took a snapshot of your PC today and then went back to it in a week's time, and it's, you'll probably find there's quite a few differences. So again, depending on how mission critical your PC is, if it is really super mission critical and you just want it to have the very latest of everything, I would set it to do this on a daily basis. But again, it's entirely up to you. For me personally, this machine isn't gonna get a great deal of use. So to have a restore point every Monday, just in case something goes wrong on a Tuesday, for me is perfect. But like I said, change it for however you see fit. So basically, yeah, just change that, put in your schedule, Click OK, and that is it, you're done. But at least you know, you're safe in the knowledge that should things start going wrong, at least you will have a restore point to go back to. So this has been the system restore points using Windows Task Scheduler. 
I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.